mixture of sunshine and showers this afternoon. Highs of 16 degrees Celsius. Talk sport. Sports update. Andrew McKenna, Arsenal fans have heard the answer to the question they wanted to hear. The club's objective is silverware and not the balance sheet. They've been holding their AGM this morning at which Stan Kroenke, Peter Hillwood and Ivan Gazidis were all attending while being tackled by shareholders about the club's lack of trophies. Chief Executive Gazidis has said, our target is not profit, it is to have success on the pitch. Arsene Wenger has added, I believe this team can deliver. While the Europa League continues this evening, the six o'clock kickoff features Tottenham away to Maribor. It's then five past eight for Newcastle against Club Bruges and Liverpool against Anzi. Brad Jones will be in goal for Liverpool as Pepe Reina is still not back available. I'm certainly of the thinking that, you know, play as games that comes. So, you know, if I do well, then if I can give the manager a headache, okay. Um, yeah, that's what I'm here to do. Kickoff will, of course, have the news of the evening matches. In managerial matters, Dougie Freeman's officially the new manager of Bolton, while Steve Lomas has said his name being linked to Burnley is no more than speculation. In rugby union, England have included the uncapped Tom Youngs and Mako Bunipola in their squad to face Fiji. There are also recalls for Ugo Monia and James Haskell. And in cricket, four extra spin bowlers are to help England in their preparations to face India. James Treadwell, Scott Borthwick, Simon Kerrigan and Azim Rafiq will all go to the training camp in Dubai. All the details on the website, talksport.co.uk. Hello, Brian Davies, phone. Okay. I am a talking phone. Hello, Brian's phone. Alexander Orlov here. I'm ringing to congratulate Brian on choose rock and roll Vasily Toy after he renewed his seven detached mansion insurance to compare the market to uh, uh, Thank you, Mr. Orlov. I'll pass you with John. Where can I get one of these talking telephone, my boss? To collect more exclusive Mirka toys, buy your car or home insurance or get credit card to compare the market.com. Simple. On DAB Digital Radio at 1089 and 1053 AM, Hawksby and Jacobs on Talk Sport. <laughs> This is Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs with the 3 4 here on Tools for Weather this afternoon. Many congratulations. Touch that again, right? Many congratulations to Gareth Bale uh, yeah. and, uh, and his partner on the birth of uh, Alba Violet Bale, yeah. AVB. Yeah. Uh, last I heard, about three or four months ago, she's going to be called Harrier. <laughs> yeah. It's all exactly. changed, isn't it? It's true. It's all changed. Football's a funny game. Coming up over the next three hours. We're in Italy to discuss why Mancini's come up short in the Champions League again. We'll get uh, Stuart Robson's take on Arsenal's sudden malaise. We'll discover how the FA plans to make women's football bigger than cricket. Good luck with that. And get a scouting report on one of the hottest strikers outside the Premier League, Burnley's Charlie Austin. To be fair, uh, a big, in this country, uh, bigger than cricket. Has, uh, anyway, we'll, we'll come back to that later. Um, also, we're taking your calls, emails, texts and tweets, including your properties, sporting, selling points. We'll tell you why in a moment. There's all this plus Wales Grand Slam winning captain, uh, rugby captain Sam Warburton joins us in the studio. And actor and Millwall fan, I don't know what I'm saying there. Joe, Joe Abson will also be popping in. Yeah, well that's a good start. start. That's the kind of award winning, <laughs> yeah. record breaking audience stuff that they've come to expect from us. Over a million people. <laughs> we do apologise to all one million of you for that very ropey intro. <laughs> Things will pick up, we promise. No, they won't. I'm looking forward to seeing Sam actually, because the book's cracking. I never known you so excited. That's good. It's been a good week. It's one of those things. Like many of the, you know, you just kind of get into the story. It was such a compelling story, the, the sending off. The first chapter's all about that. And I just thought I'd flick through it, and I was right into it. So I'm looking forward to seeing Sam Warburton in the studio uh, later on. But it's six minutes past one. Good afternoon. Stop taking the mickey out of me, just for doing my <laughs> research. Good afternoon, everyone. Good there afternoon, was, Andy. There, I was laughing at uh, the producer man handling the poly. Is that, is that a sexual harassment? I think it's like, not right, really. That, that could be his last gig <laughs> for us. Uh, you mentioned uh, Gareth Bale there. Congratulations mm -hmm. to him. And uh, a lot of people think that he's, he's named Alba Violet Bale after AVB, but it's not. It's after fellow left-back Geordie Alba and former United great Dennis Violet. That could be. No, yeah, it could possibly be. I knew that. I was reading about... Uh, you know, a the, schoolmate of uh, Sam Warburton's. See, that's what comes with research. <laughs> a classmate of Sam Warburton. See, if you read these yeah, books, what, Andy, like I do, you know this stuff. Uh, what was his report card? I, I've, got, I've, <laughs> I've not got to that bit of the book yet. <laughs> he might have kept that back. I was reading about uh, Stephen Peters, the uh, new uh, athletics... Uh, he's a brilliant work. Sports psychologist. Sports yeah. psychologist. 
And his technique is, uh, he talks about the inner chimp. Yeah. That's the thing, he, the central tenet of Peter's method, methodology is isolating the irrational, emotional side of the mind, which he imagines as a chimp. And he talks about Sir Chris Hoy. Chris Hoy knows his chimp very well. Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Craig Bellamy, the chimp still comes out now. I've read all about it. And after that, I really had this urge to have a couple of PG tips. <laughs> I couldn't understand why. Right. We okay. did some work on breakfast. Alan called him in to work with um, <laughs> the moose. It was the inner tube. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he said the inner the tube was really always very prominent in the moose, as we discovered with all. Okay, so I wrote these down last night. I'm not proud of them, but I'm going to do Well, these are your notes. No, yeah, these are my notes about. Uh, Jefferson Farfan. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, I was speaking. You're not hammering that old one, too, are you? What? Go on, I just felt like, you know, I think we all, everybody really will laugh a brain knows where you're going with this, but carry on. You know it. Go on. No, he tortured Andre Santos all night. I mean, tremendous player, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And, and is that uh, a point you're still telling me? Yeah. yeah. He told me. He said, I'm going to get it today because I've made it to take the no, media. You're not, man, you're not going to get it. Warburton. I'm not that. <laughs> this has got no chance this next section. Yeah. Didn't have much of a chance to start with. <laughs> Go on then. He told me he'd done a similar jump to Felix. Felix. Yeah. <laughs> you're you not helping step. yourself. But you can blame me all you like, but you're not helping Felix yourself. Felix Baumgartner. Oh, yeah. He did it without a parachute, though. It was Jefferson Farfetched. And then I thought, well, OK, this, this won't work. Then I thought his fan belt went last week. It quite affected him, actually. It was Jefferson Carfan. And uh, I thought he supports the Scottish division team, uh, Jefferson Forfar fan. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'm sure the listeners have come up better ones than that. Well, it's only going to be a short one. Yeah. <laughs> I just, well, go on. Get to work uh, on, on that one. It was a slow night. Actually, I was switching between games. I started off watching the Zenit and the league game. Mm. Ter- this is what I've written. Terrible game, terrible win, terrible penalty, terrible finishing, a terrible waste of a career for Hulk and Witzel. We'll talk to our Russian correspondent about it. Yeah. It's just grim. It's such a grim place to play football, I think. The weather was terrible.